Hello, I'm Tom DeMitt, and today I'm going to show you the Biolytic Dr. Oligo processor. The Biolytic Dr. Oligo processor is used for post synthesis processing, and the way it fits into the overall scheme of synthesis is elute, collect, and then do oligo purification using an oligo purification cartridge sometimes referred to as DMT on purification. In order to perform these various processes, we have bottles of reagents on the instrument. There's three in the front, five in the back, total of eight. What we have on the front here for controls is uh, on the left-hand side, we have the digital pressure gauge. It just indicates, number one, that the instrument's on uh, if it's lit, and number two, what the uh, pressure is that's coming into the instrument from the outside. We require 100 PSI to operate the instrument. Um, going across the front, we have a few anal uh, analog gauges. You can see that there is a gauge here that is the drain pressure. And so this is the pressure we're applying to the um, tops of the columns to move reagent through them or um, and that pressure will show up here on the on this gauge. Uh, this is the pressure that will be used, and this is the pressure that's actually being used at any given point in time. On this side, we have um, a pressure. This same pressure is being used to pressurize a what we call a transfer station, where we can transfer oligos from a deep well plate into the cartridges. And we have our uh, bottle pressure. As I said before, reagents is moved from the bottle to the location where we need it, the columns using pressure. This is the pressure that's applied to the bottle, and this is a control for that pressure. So if we want to refill bottles, we can turn this off, and when we're operating, we would turn this on to pressurize the bottles. Okay. Also, we have this switch, which uh, has three positions, up and center and down. Uh, in the up position, it will raise this top section, which allows us to gain access to the inside of the instrument. So it goes up like that. Um, and then going down, it will lower this, but in order to go down, you actually have to have this pressed and this down at the same time. Um, it's a safety thing so that you don't have one hand stuck in there while the other one is lowering it. So that's what that's for. If I'm going up, I can stop anywhere along the way by just letting go of it and raise it all the way up. Okay, so um, <clears throat> the instrument, like I say, was designed to be generic, so you can do various types of processes with it uh, using different cartridges from different suppliers. On this side is where our transfer station is. This would be a deep well plate that would contain our oligos would go in here if we want to transfer them to cartridges. Goes in here. These tubes go down into the bottoms of that plate. On this side, we would have a plate that contains cartridges for purification. This would go over there. This closes down. We pressurize this side. And then the oligos move through this tubing and get deposited over here. On this side, is a dispense uh, manifold where the reagents from these bottles can be dispensed. So this plate can move over here and then we can dispense reagent from these, uh, this dispense nozzle or manifold into the plate from any bottle that we need. Okay. Also when this plate is over here, that's the station that we can uh, pressurize the top of the plate and move reagents slowly through the columns or move it uh, out, uh, empty the columns uh, when we're finished moving it slowly through the columns. So that moves over there. All right. There is a collect plate that goes in the bottom here. This goes down into a cavity down inside of here. And what happens is this is on a, basically an elevator that can move up and I will show you outside the machine because it's hard to show you in the machine. Normally, this is um, looking like this inside the instrument. We dispense reagent into the top, we push it through, and this has a cover on it 
so that we can't, the reagent doesn't go into here. Then when we want to, if we're going to waste, if we want to go to collect, we want to collect in here, then the cover moves out of the way and this moves up and this column, this part of the column, engages with the top of the plate like this so that the column is slightly inside of the plate so that we do not have any cross-contamination issues. Everything from each column is directed into the well immediately below it and can't go sideways or anywhere else into another column. Uh, so then this, when we're finished with the collection, this moves down and then a, a cover will come in and cover this lower plate inside the instrument. Our software runs on Windows. This is our software, it's up. Uh, when we log into our software, we have to use a valid username and password. The um, levels of access that we provide for logging in are, are three, uh, administrator, supervisor, and operator. Administrator can do anything. Uh, supervisor can do everything except manage usernames and passwords and an operator can run the instrument but can't make any changes to any critical settings or protocols or anything like that. This is what the software looks like when it opens. We have three tabs across the top, um, method, operate, and then tools and options. Method is what we actually run when we make a run. A method is a protocol plus a um, a set of uh, wells that we want to uh, work with in today's run. Uh, this set right now we see here, we have four columns selected and we're starting on position number five. But we can change that to anything we want here. We can start on position three or we can start on position one, which is kind of normal. And we can run any number of these that we want, groups of eight. The operate section is here. Operate is an automatic operation, which is this button. And it has a manual mode, which is this over here. So when we're running in the operate mode, automatic mode, this is changing all the time to indicate what it's doing. Also, this is being highlighted to show you what step it's on. If we're in the manual mode, if I click on manual, we get another screen that looks very similar and we still have this pictorial and we can um, observe what's going on in the manual mode here. The manual mode has three tabs over here to choose something. We can dispense, we can drain, and we can transfer. Those are the three things that this instrument does. It dispenses something, um, it drains it, and you can transfer from a deep well plate into the reaction plate. Those are the things that it does. So we've just been through the Dr. Oligo processor. Uh, just to review, the way this fits into the synthesis process is one would synthesize in a synthesizer. Uh, then one would remove the oligos from the synthesizer, put them into a heated pressure chamber for cleave and deprotect. The oligos are then cleaved from the solid support, but they're still in the synthesis columns. The synthesis columns can be put directly in here into the processor uh, in a rack, of course, a rack that was they were synthesized, uh, used to synthesize. If they're done in a plate instrument like our Dr. Oligo plate systems um, or a rack that is designed to hold the columns if you're using the Dr. Oligo 48. So synthesis, heated pressure chamber, cleave and deprotect, then into here to do a desalt and elution or a elution and then a oligo purification. And so um, that's what the processor can do for you. And I hope that this meets your needs and that um, you have a lot of fun with it.